Hi, hi, hi! It's Sarah Games! And you're watching Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's a game that comes out October 30th, but I got an early copy of it for this promotional thing Machinima's having. And what you're watching right now is me doing like the final boss race of the game, and then after I win, it shows the end cutscene. And basically, I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about the game. So, the whole like story of the single player is that you're this guy and you're trying to become the most wanted racer in the city so pretty much you're just like working up your points to be able to get to the top number one spot of most wanted so the way you become the most wanted is you have to rank up your points and in this game the point system is called speed points and the way you get speed points is for completing races in addition to points, you also get custom upgrades to your car, like tires, NOS, a transmission, and other things to pretty much improve the ability of your car. So speaking about cars, there's, I want to say, like 15 to 20 cars in this game, and the way you get them is they're scattered around this whole world, and once you find them, you have to go up to them and press Y, and it lets you get in the car, and they're called jack spots. And once you find a car, you can go into like your mini map and pretty much anywhere in the world you are, you can automatically transport to that car and drive it. And I think there's 123, there's 120 something uh, jack spots in the game. Um, so each car has like three different areas it like spawns in. So you can get in the same car, maybe like the east side, west side or north or something. And you can also get cars from the Most Wanted. The Most Wanted are like the boss battles, the boss races in this game. So after you beat a Most Wanted guy, it'll like continue the race after you've already won. And then what you have to do is take them out, pretty much make them crash, and then you get to take their car. So once you get their car, they're usually the better cars in the game. What I've done is once I beat a Most Wanted, I usually use that car and like I'll do races to get all the like attachments for the car to make it better and then I'll do more races with other cars if I need to to get enough speed points and then I'll go fight or race the next uh, most wanted guy. And there's also a multiplayer in this game. I don't know too much about it. I only played like one game of it but from what I saw and take what I say with a grain of salt because I might be wrong, but it seemed a lot like the single player, like once you, you can go in and click the button that says find game, and then it will randomly put you in a game with like three other people, and you're still in this whole like world, uh, you can free roam around the whole world, and then it will like give you a little thing on your map that says like a race is about to start here, so everybody drives there and then it'll give you a countdown like three, two, one, go, and then everybody races. And it also has a speed point system in it, so you can upgrade your car and stuff the same way you do in single player, except it's in multiplayer. So you can also get better cars, you can get attachments and mods for your car in multiplayer, and also go up against other people, your friends, whatever, in multiplayer. So yeah. So that's pretty much like the logistics of the game. I really like this game, like I stayed up all night, one night playing it, which is how I beat it so fast. And they came out with a Need for Speed Most Wanted in like 2005 also. And I never really got to play that, I never owned the 2005 Most Wanted game. But I did watch my cousin play it over his house because he had it and it was freaking awesome. One thing about the old Most Wanted that I really liked was you could customize your car like you could put spoilers on it. I think you could change the rims, the bumpers and stuff and I just really liked that customizable ability of it and that's not in this game. The only thing you can do to like customize your car is like improve its performance but not the actual visuals except for like a paint job when you go through 
a, uh, I guess a repair shop is what it called. I don't know. So yeah, that's like the only really thing I wish was in there. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope I didn't really miss anything too important. If I did, fudge. Congratulations. You've outchased and outraced everyone. You took on the best drivers in the city and blew them away. You are the most wanted. Keep driving and earning speed points to beat your friends on the most wanted list. Check your easy drive recommendations and take the fight to them. In Fairhaven, the competition never stops. But yeah, if you have any questions about this game, just leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to it. Uh, but this is pretty much the end of the video. I just show the last car you get in the game, which is right here. And uh, towards the end of the video, I just show the different color schemes of it. There's white, red, and blue. And yeah, um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just putting it out there. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.